ready to do the embroidery for the four corners of the May Kimberbell Cuties table topper. And the way the pattern has you do it is this particular flower for May is an applique. And I am in a Brilliance Essentials, and I want to show you how cool and easy this software program is to be able to do a lot of different things with embroidery designs. And we're going to merge a design into this, and we're going to do some copying and pasting and resizing and just super, super simple processes that are just change everything about the way you do your embroidery. This line right here is an alignment line to put on the corner of that table topper triangle. And so this is uh, on point in that triangle. And in Brilliance, you have your main screen and that's where the design itself goes. And then over here, they have what's called an objects panel. And then you've got a properties window down here and the properties are showing the threads. Well, in the objects panel, when you click the plus sign, you open up the design and it lets you see all of the elements that make up the design. So there's that alignment line and you can tell it highlights right here and it lets you know that that's what that is. And then here are the stems. This is an applique design. So here's the placement line for the flower. Here's a tack down for the flower. And then here is the final satin stitch. Now this stem right here looks like it's missing something and that's because it is. They want you to take some ribbon and make little loops and maybe put a button in the middle of it to make another flower. Well, I don't want to fiddle with the ribbon and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just highlight all three elements that make up this flower, the placement line, the tack down and the final satin stitch and not here in the objects panel, but over here in the window, in the main window, I'm going to right click on it and go copy Then I'm going to click off and I'm going to right click in the white space and go paste and it pasted exactly on top of itself. So now I'm going to pull that over. Looks good. And now I'm going to use the corner handle and I'm going to grab a hold of it. And I'm going to drag it down to as small as it will go and it will stop eventually. Man, eh, maybe about right there is good. And I'm just going to put this right here. I'm going to move it right there. I might make it just a little tiny bit bigger, but that's really exactly what I want. I think that's going to look great just like that. Let me turn this a little bit. You can play with it all you want. I think that looks great. Okay. So look, I made another flower just by doing a copy and a paste in Brilliance Essentials. So incredibly simple. It's just like you know, working with an email or Word or PowerPoint or anything like that. Copy and paste. Very, very simple. Also in the main design, they want you to put a little piece of ribbon to hold these together with a bow. Well, I want to show you how to merge a new design using Embrace Essentials. So over here on this other tab, the, the first tab, is uh, the main design that we're going to use on the embroidery. The second tab, I went looking and this is a Kimberbell mug rug. This is the wreath mug rug from a seasonal and holiday mug rugs volume one from Kimberbell. I'm going to open up this objects panel again. I think that bow will look adorable on the stems. And so I'm going to open this up and let me find that bow. So remember I showed you when you click on stuff, you can see what it is in the main window. Let's see, that's the placement line for the wreath, tack down for the wreath, placement line for the bow, because this is an applique as well. 
placement line for the bow. I'm going to hold down the control key on my keyboard. There is the tack down for the bow. And here is the final satin stitches for the bow. So I'm going to come back over here on just on the picture, not over in the objects panel. And I'm going to right click and copy. And I'm going to come back over here to the main one and right click and paste. Look at that. So we grab just the bow. If you come over here in the objects panel, you can see it. We've got the placement line, the tack down line, and the final satin stitching. So I'm going to highlight this main one, which takes care of all of the bow. I'm going to turn it just a little bit, and I'm going to drag it down here. And then I want to make it a lot smaller. You can grab any one of the corners, and that will drag it proportionately. Look at that. Awesome. I think I want to put it like right there. So that looks like, I mean, you can still see the lines through the stitching, but you got to remember there's going to be fabric all right here. There's going to be fabric on that. This is awesome. So now what I want to do, another very, very cool thing that is in in Brilliance Essentials is the ability to create cut files out of applique embroidery files. And this is so handy and so cool. Yes, the CD does come with SVG files, the cut files on the CD for the Kimberbell Cuties table topper. I'm going to make the cut file from the placement lines that are here, which is going to be actually a more exact size. Sometimes with Kimberbell designs, you need to blow up those cut files one or two clicks on a scan and cut or a cutting machine of some sort because they can be kind of small. But if you make the SVG file in, in Brilliance, it's going to be exactly what you need to fit because it used the placement line from this very design. So I'm going to come up here and we have got, let's see, Number one, so this flower right here, that's that main one. I want to take the placement line. So again, there's the alignment line. There are the stems. There's the placement line for the big flower. Okay. And while this is highlighted, I'm going to come down here onto this color chip in the thread color properties. I'm going to click the color chip. And it comes up with a new window, a thread window. But there's two tabs in here. It says color and applique. I don't care about the colors. I'm going to determine the colors based on the fabric that I use. So the, the color of the thread is completely unimportant to me at this point. But this applique tab, that's what I want. And where it says not applique, I'm going to hit the drop down area and go to applique position. And it has an automatic default of an inflate of 1.0. And I think that that'll be fine. Usually it's 1.5. I'm going to make it 1.5. I changed it to 1.0 last time I was working with them. But 1.5 millimeters is the default. I'm going to click Save. And it's going to want to know where you want to save it. I'm going to go up to my Documents folder. I'm going to come down to Embroidery. I have a folder just for Kimberbell. And then I have the cuties table toppers. I'll go ahead and put it in here. Here you can see save as type is a scalable vector graphic. There's your SVG cut file. I'm going to call it big flower and hit save, hit enter. And it comes up with the dots per inch. We don't care about any of that. I'm going to tell it OK and I'm going to tell it OK. Now I want to do the same thing for the small flower. So let me come down to that second one. There is the placement line. Remember, there's the placement, there's the tack down, there's the final satin stitching. Placement line for this flower, click the color chip, go to the applique tab, change it to applique position or placement, same thing. Inflate, 1.5 millimeters is perfect. Save, and now it's going to go exactly to the last folder I was at, and I'm going to call it small flower until it's save and OK, and OK, and now I want to do the placement line for the bow. Let's do that. There's the bow, and I'm going to click the color chip and go to applique, position, 
save and bow. Save. Okay and okay. So in just a matter of minutes, so, so I was able to duplicate a design. I was able to resize a design. I was able to merge a portion of another design and create a whole new design using Embrilliance Essentials. My link to Embrilliance Essentials is below. If you are considering getting this software, I really would appreciate it if you'd use my link. And I do a lot of tutorials on this software and I will continue to do these tutorials and guide you through how fun and easy it is to use Embrilliance software in your embroidery. This is my final file. I'm very happy with how this is. If you're going to do any movement, don't change the size of anything because you've already established the cut file size, so you don't want to do that. But if you wanted to change the bow and move it just a tiny bit, I'll put it so that that little circle is in between those two stems. I think that'll look real good. Maybe I can even move it up a little bit so that the stems are coming out from underneath the bow. I think that'll look nice. What do you think? So now I'm just going to tell it file, save stitch file as, and you can save your embroidery designs that you create in Brilliance to every single home embroidery file format. You can save it down here. It says save as type. And I have PES because I have a brother machine, or if you had a baby lock, you'd use this. But you can hit this drop down arrow right here and look. There you go. There's your Husqvarna, okay? Here's your Janomis. Uh, there is your Singer. You have got all of the main home embroidery file formats. They work with every single home embroidery machine. So I'm going to tell it the PES files because that's what I use. I'm going to call it May Cutie Topper. All right, and I'm going to hit save. Now, I'm saving this in my EMB Designs folder. Another thing you can do, if you have a Brother Luminaire or a Baby Lock Solaris, there's a utility in here that's very cool. This also works with the PR1055, I found out, the Brother PR1055. Come up to the Utility menu and then scroll down to Send to Solaris XP1. So the Solaris is the baby lock, XP1 is the Luminaire. You need to have your machine turned on and you need to have gone through the initial sequencing where you click OK and the arm moves around and whatnot, and it will send it wirelessly over to those machines. If you have a brother, PR1055, if you do this, you may get an error message saying that it failed to send, but go over and check your machine and I bet you it might be there. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. I'll talk to you soon. Go sell something, bye.